Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my yearly 2015 beauty favorites. It's going to include some hair care, skin care, and makeup, obviously. Um, so I'm really excited to be doing this video. I would have had it up sooner, but the problem was is that I've been really busy this past week. Um, I'm actually, I finally registered for school. So I'm actually going to be taking an esthetician and makeup academy program. And I'm really, really excited to be doing that. Um, I actually start school on February 1st. Um, so yeah, I've been crazy busy going back to back and forth to the school and stuff like that to register stir and all that so I've been crazy busy with that and I've also been sick on top of it I've had a really nasty cold for the past couple of days like this whole past week has just been absolutely hectic like I was sick all last weekend and stuff like I've just been congested and like Ugh, that's just been awful. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to update you guys a little bit. That's why I didn't have this up sooner. Um, but I did want to mention the elephant in the room, obviously, would probably be my hair. Um, yes, it is like a golden blonde. It's coming up weird on camera because of these lights. Um, but it's like a light golden blonde in person. Um, if you guys remember in my Christmas video, I actually showed you guys the gift card that I got for Christmas so I can go ahead and get my hair changed because I was sick of the black and I kind of want to go like a white, silver, gray color. Um, so yeah, I actually started that process a couple weeks ago. I went and they did two bleaches on me and then a bleach bath and then they toned it obviously and then this is what was left. So it's kind of like a golden blonde. Um, I don't mind it for now and then I actually go back on the 30th to have it finished. So it's not done yet. So this is is what we're working with for now um but yeah if you guys want to see what my 2015 beauty favorites are then please keep watching okay so i'm gonna try and go in order i'm gonna actually talk about hair first um i definitely want to mention these two shampoos and conditioners because they have been saving my hair this is the purology strength cure shampoo and conditioner they're in the blue bottles um i love this stuff so much um it's just saved my hair um i actually when i went back to the salon like a couple months ago back in like September I think when I had my hair cut um, because I ended up damaging it and stuff I think I told you guys in another video um, they suggested this to me and I started using it and I'm literally addicted to it it's like the best stuff ever um, it makes my hair feel like amazing and it's just helped my hair a lot and it's made my hair grow like insanely um so i've just been absolutely loving this and i just love the purology line like i have a couple different products and i just love purology like all in all it's just an amazing brand and i just love it so the next thing that i want to talk about is this moroccan um, Moroccan oil treatment and this is the light version it just looks like this it's like a huge one this is very pricey um, I do want to mention that um, but when I did have damaged hair and I went to the salon like I was just telling you guys um, they mentioned this to me and I bought it because I was like you know what like it's amazing I need this stuff because she actually used it in my hair and I was like oh my god this stuff's amazing like what is this and she suggested it to me so I ended up buying it that day and I just love it so much and it's just it saved my hair like amazingly and and I've had it since I think it was like September and like it's still full like this thing is gonna last me forever so if you're gonna put the money into it definitely get the big bottle um, or if you like it definitely get the big bottle because it'll it'll last you for like ever and it's just amazing I like the light one because it's not so thick and um, I like to put it in my hair like when it's wet and then like when I get out of the shower and then it makes my hair really soft when it dries or I put it in like a little bit on my end like once I straighten it or blow dry it or whatever this stuff's just amazing all in all okay so the next thing that I have is this nourishing coconut oil weightless hydrating oil mist it looks like this it's by the organics line I think um, you can get it at the drugstore I think it's like around five bucks or something like that I love this stuff um, it's just amazing it says it's an exotic and enticing blend of lightweight coconut oil to nourish strands along with hydrating bamboo extract for hair that is soft touchable and healthier looking with each use and this stuff is just bomb.com i love it so much it makes my hair feel so good um and it's just it's amazing and it's from the drugstore so it's very inexpensive i definitely highly recommend this stuff it's the bomb so the next thing that i have is also another hair care product um this is the one and only argon oil 12 in 1 daily treatment it looks like this you can get it at sally's um and i think you can get it at face values if i'm not mistaken i love this stuff so much it reminds me a lot of the it's a 10 product like the spray leave-in miracle treatment i have that as well but i actually prefer this one more just because it has like i don't know it's not as thick like 
sometimes if I put too much of the it's a 10 stuff in it I'll feel that like residue and I don't like that this doesn't leave any residue in my hair and it just feels really good when I get out of the shower I'll put it in like on my wet hair and then let it air dry or whatever and it makes my hair so soft and it just it's like a leave-in conditioner basically and it's just amazing and I love it so much I highly recommend this so I think that's it for for hair products um, if I find another one I will definitely stick it in the video somewhere but um, I'm gonna move on to skincare so the first thing that I have here is basically a dupe for the Clarisonic it's like a little um, brush head thing that you use to cleanse your skin and I got this for Christmas I don't know if I mentioned it in my what I got for Christmas or not because I had it in my bathroom and I'm not sure if I forgot about it um, but I got it for Christmas from my grandma and I think she got it at Marshall's and it was very inexpensive I believe and I was looking for one that wasn't too expensive because I didn't know how my skin would react to it because I have very sensitive dry skin and I didn't want to spend like a lot of money on one and then it not work or not be not be able to use it um, I just wanted to see how it felt before I you know took the splurge to buy like a Clarisonic or something like that um, so she ended up finding me this one I think at Marshall's and I absolutely love it it came with two other brush heads I think it's like a there's like a foam one and then there's like another one that's different um, but I love this I put my cleanser on it after I remove my makeup and then I just put a little bit of my cleanser on it and then it just I just massage it into my skin and it's literally amazing I think she found it at Marshall's and it was like really inexpensive like I think it was probably like 10 bucks at most um, she said she just randomly found it and she was like she told me she was like since you were talking about it I found it and I picked it up because I was like not sure how it would work or not and I'm so happy she did because this thing is amazing I love it so much and it has two settings it just has low and high I usually use the low setting because if I use high it's a little too harsh but um yeah I love this so much so the next thing that I have is from Lush and this is the ocean salt face and body scrub looks like this and I mentioned this in my favorites a while ago I think and this is literally empty like I don't even want to talk about it like it's literally empty um I have to go ahead and get another one but this stuff's amazing um I think it's a little pricey I forget how much it was but they do have this one and then they have a bigger one which I think is like $40 but it's definitely worth it um in my opinion I love it and I have very dry sensitive skin and it just feels so good on my skin I don't really use it on my body I usually use it on my face basically um because my skin like I don't really have issues with my skin or anything I just use like a like exfoliating scrub from like a drugstore or like a body wash or something but this I use on my face and I just love it so much like I'll use it maybe like twice or three times a week maybe um and I just love the way it exfoliates and it just gets all the dead skin off but it also moisturizes it at the same time so I just really enjoy this I highly recommend it I love Lush products they are the bomb so the next thing that I have is also from Lush, which I think I mentioned in a haul or something, or in a favorites probably. Um, but this is the Aroma Water Toner Water. It's a gentle rose and lavender tonic for everyday use that helps hydrate skin, sensitive or mature skin without causing it to overreact. Soft, comfortable skin is only a spritz away. And it looks like this, and I've had this for a while now, and I just love this so much. What I'll do is I'll usually use the ocean salt stuff after I like remove my makeup and do my... I'll just face, like wash my face or whatever with my cleanser and then I'll go in with the ocean salt stuff rinse that stuff off and then I'll spray this on my face and then go in with my moisturizer and it's just like amazing this really helps make my moisturizer just feel really like it's getting into my pores and like really deep into my skin like it just I just love this stuff so much and it's so easy to use because it's just a spray you just spray it on really quick it's not like you have to get a cotton pad out and pour the stuff on it and then you know do all that um, this is just amazing and I think they actually have a tea tree one which if you have like um, acne or something like that, that would be great for you as well. Um, and I think this is like really inexpensive as well. So I really do enjoy this and I love it a lot. The next thing that I have is a moisturizer and this one's from the drugstore. I actually have two options. I'm going to show you guys. This one is the L'Oreal Paris Collagen Moisture Filler and um, Hydrant. It's a day and night cream. It looks like this. And I believe it's like $10 at the drugstore. And I love this stuff so much. It's very thick. Um, it's a very thick consistency. Like, as you can see, it's kind of like a... It's not like... It's not like a thin consistency. It's a very thick moisturizer, but I like it for at night. Um, I love this stuff for at night. Um, and I'll put it on sometimes before I do my makeup if I let it sit for like, you know, 10, 15 minutes. Um, it just really hydrates my skin and I really love the way that it makes my skin feel. So I do really enjoy this. I know they have another one. I'm not sure if it's like a gel formula or not. Um, but I really do like this and I've been enjoying it for the past couple months. So I figured I would just show you guys. And it's from the drugstore, so it's a great alternative than what I'm going to show you guys now. So the next thing that I have 
is this Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion. And it looks like this. It's just like, and I, it's like yellow kind of. Um, and this is very thinner. Like it's a very thinner consistency. And it's kind of almost like a gel. Like it's weird. I don't know. The consistency is weird, but it's very hydrating. I like putting this on before I do my makeup. Um, that's mainly what I use this for. And I use the other one mainly at night, like I said. Um, but this one's amazing as well. And I forget how much it was, but I, I'm not sure. I think it was pretty pricey. Um, but I did get it at like a discount outlet. So I, I'm not sure exactly how much it is like you know definitely um and the only thing that it, it sucks is that it doesn't come with a pump which i don't know why it should totally come with a pump maybe i just got like a dud and didn't get one with a pump i i don't know um but yeah i love this stuff it's amazing I just need to find a pump for it so yeah okay so finally I'm getting down to the makeup stuff I actually feel like I don't have a lot this year just because I don't know I just feel like I don't have as much as I did last year maybe I, I don't know um, so I'm gonna start with how I would apply it to my face so I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys about my favorite primer um, so this year this was a big year for me like primer wise I was trying to find like a very hydrating primer um, without spending a lot of money because um, I mean, I see a lot of, like, you know, high-end primers and stuff like that, and I'm like, oh, I don't know if I want to spend the money on it, and um, I actually came across this one, and this is the e.l.f. Hydrating Face Primer. It looks like this, and I love this stuff so much. You can just feel how hydrating it is. I actually have it on today, and I just love it so much. My skin is so, 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 so dry, and this stuff just makes my skin feel really hydrated. Even, like, after I put on my lotion, my skin will still feel dry. That's how dry my skin is, and I put this on, like, under my eyes and stuff, and it's so hydrating, and it has that silicone base as well, so it fills in your pores and stuff, so it's just a great primer. I definitely recommend it and I think it's only six dollars at the drugstore I love this stuff so much it's probably my favorite primer like that I've ever bought like and it's from the drugstore like come on um so I just I had to mention it because I'm just in love with it it's like probably one of my favorite primers ever so the next thing that I have is this foundation this is the Estee Lauder double wear stay in place makeup and mine is in 1c0 shell looks like this it's a very light shade i also do mix it with my manic panic dream tone just because it's a little too dark for me because i am a pale goddess um so yeah i just i love this so much it is definitely medium to full coverage it's buildable um but it's also not cakey which i like and i love using it with my beauty blender um i got it back in august i think and i just love it so much i use it like if i really like if i'm going out or something like that it's one of those foundations that i like to like you know savor because it's so expensive um so yeah i just really do do enjoy this foundation and I've loved it since I got it so I wanted to mention it because it's definitely one of my all-time favorites okay so the next thing that I wanted to mention is definitely I think something that I've mentioned in like every favorites video which is the manic panic dream tone um, flawless foundation and color corrector it's just a white foundation you mix it with your foundations if you're pale and it actually lightens them without changing the consistency and it just lightens your foundation if it's too dark for you and this stuff has saved my life so much I love it so much it's just one of my favorites and I will continue to buy it I I get mine on eBay I think it's around like nine or ten dollars um, I will link it down below that way you guys can see what I'm talking about but yeah it's like really awesome I love it so much I think you might be able to get it on the manic panic website if I'm not mistaken but I get mine on eBay because I think it's cheaper but yeah it's just it's the bomb.com if you're pale and you know you need like something to lighten your foundation because it's too dark it's the best I love it so much but then the last foundation that I want to mention is from the drugstore this is the L'Oreal true match Lumi healthy luminous makeup looks like this um, I've had this since like forever like I've had it forever and I used it a lot this year um just because my skin has just been really dry like this year it was like I've had a lot of issues with my skin being dry this year I don't know why it's just extremely dry and I cannot do anything about it it's ridiculous and I love using this on days like where I don't want like super full coverage but I still want a little bit of coverage and I want my skin to look healthy and luminous and stuff like that so I definitely enjoy this and it does the job and it's from the drugstore so it's cheap um, I think it was like around ten dollars or something but it's lasted me a while and it has a pump so it's awesome and I just love the L'Oreal true match like the original as well so I love of this so much okay so that's it for foundations I'm gonna move on to concealer now I don't really have many favorites like I don't know like I'm really picky when it comes to concealer like and I still have not found my favorite but this has been my favorite like this whole year and this is the Maybelline fit me concealer and uh, 15 fair it looks like this and I'm like out I need to go get a new one but this stuff is the bomb um, it's very hydrating and it still gives you coverage under there without being too cakey because I have a lot of problems with creasing under my eyes um, it's just 
I, I don't know I just I can never find like the perfect concealer and this is the only one that I like um I still like the Maybelline age the age rewind one I like that one as well but I like this one more and I wanted to mention this one in my favorites because I just use it all the time and it's like five bucks from the drugstore and it's like one of the best concealers I've also used it like as like a foundation like while I'm like in a pinch or something and I need to like use it as a foundation it's awesome for that as well I love the fit me line I think I used the foundation a really long time ago and I liked it and I just never repurchased it but this is amazing and the powder that they have for it is amazing I've never tried the like the matte fit me or whatever I've never tried that because my skin is too dry for that stuff so I just wanted to mention this concealer because it's amazing and I use it all the time and it's just been my all-time favorite this year if you guys have any suggestions on concealers for creasing and that's not too like cakey or anything like that definitely leave them down below because I'm always looking for like new ones to try because I've like literally struggled with concealers for like the past like year it's been crazy like I've tried so many and just have hated like all of them except for this one um, and I don't feel like spending $38 on the naked skin one I think that's ridiculous like that's so overpriced I, I just I cannot I just won't I just won't buy it like as amazing as it looks I just won't buy it like unless someone just hands me a, like a hundred dollar bill one day and it's like here go buy the you know naked skin concealer then I'll do it but I'm not sending $38 or $36 on a fucking concealer that's absolutely ridiculous so sorry for the rant but this is amazing and I just I had to mention it okay so the next thing that I have I guess I'll mention is a powder so I think I only have one. Oh shit wait okay so I forgot an eye base this has actually been my favorite recently this is the um um, soft ochre paint pot by mac it looks like this it's like a um like a nude um eyeshadow base and i really like this because it helps keep my um eyeshadow on all day and i definitely suggest this if you are older and you have wrinkles on your eyes or if you have like oily eyelids this is definitely going to work for you if you put this on and you have an issue with like maybe your eyeliner like you know smearing or wearing off throughout the day um definitely give this a try i don't know how much it is i want to say it's around like maybe 20 bucks or something like that i totally forget um but it's amazing for all ages and I just I think it's amazing if you want like your eyeshadow to pop or if you have an issue with your eyeliner like you know smearing off your face or you know running or whatever it definitely keeps my makeup in place my eyes my eyelids are actually very dry like I don't really use it that much but when I want to do like something very dramatic I love using this because it just makes everything pop and stay on all day but if you have an issue with like oily eyelids I totally recommend this it's amazing um the painterly paint pot is definitely good as well um, they're both really good. I like this one a little bit more though. Um, but yeah, I just I had to mention it because it's amazing. Okay, so now I'm gonna mention my favorite powder of the year, and this has definitely been the Airspun Translucent um, Loose Face Powder. It looks like this, and I just love this so much. I've had it all year, and I literally am not even out. Like it's lasts you forever, and I think it's like five dollars from the drugstore. It's amazing for baking and cooking and all that stuff, and it's amazing for setting your under eyes. Oh my god, this stuff is the bomb! It's like full coverage, it's just it's amazing, and I love the way that it sets my makeup, it just makes my foundation like stay on all day. And I just love it so much. It might look a little like dry when you first put it on, but then once you spray it with like a setting spray, it just looks very natural, and I just love it so much. It's like one of my favorites, and uh, if you haven't tried this stuff yet, you're missing out because it's the bomb. So my next favorite is an eyeshadow palette, and this is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. It looks like this. I use this literally all the time. It's one of my go-to favorite palettes, and I bring it with me when I travel. It's just amazing, and I can't say enough good things about it. I just love it so, so much. If you're definitely going to splurge on a palette or something, I definitely suggest this one. The quality is amazing. Um, I just... I love it so much. It's an amazing palette. Okay, so the next palette that I want to talk about is the Lorac Pro 2 palette. It's the gray one. The black one is the first one, I believe. And I wasn't crazy about that one because I had a bad experience buying it and it was just a nightmare. So I don't I never really repurchased that one or anything, but this one I just love so much. The colors in here are beautiful. You get like your warm shades and then you get cool shades and then you get some pops of different colors in here. And I just think it's beautiful, especially that cool gray color. That's like one of my go-tos. Um, I just, I love this palette so much. It's very pigmented, buttery, creamy, and it's just, I love this palette so much. It's like one of my go-to palettes. I'll bring this with me when I travel because it's so like sleek and thin and it's just the bomb. So the next palette that I have to talk about is the Carly Bible palette by BH Cosmetics. Looks like this. It is beautiful. Oh my god. 
when I got this for Christmas, I died. Like, I just love it so much. All the colors in here are just beautiful. I love these two, like, mauve shades and then, like, all these neutrals and stuff. And then this highlighter right here is just life. Like, if I could get this highlighter, like, in one giant pan and use it for the rest of my life, I would do so. Because I just love it so much. And I got it for Christmas. Like, I don't even know how I did because every it was always out of stock. And... I'm just obsessed with it ever since I got it. I can't put it down. I have it on my eyes today. I just think she did an amazing job with this palette. It's absolutely beautiful and it's one of my favorite palettes by far. So the next eyeshadow palette that I have here is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. Looks like this. Absolutely beautiful. It's all matte shades and I've been using it like crazy um, as you can see. It is amazing. I love this palette to death. Like it is probably my favorite palette ever. Um, I, she just did an amazing job with it. All of them are buttery smooth. They do have a little bit of fallout, but seriously, who cares? It's an amazing palette. When you get, like, a pigmented palette like this, you're gonna have fallout no matter what. But she just, she nailed it with this palette. And they're all matte. Like, who does not love matte eyeshadows? And it's just amazing. If, if you're gonna go out and buy, like, a palette that you want, like, for, like, an everyday use, I definitely suggest this one. It's absolutely amazing. And I just... I love this so much. It's definitely my favorite, one of my favorites. So then another palette to go along with that is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. Looks like this. Um, you guys have probably seen this a million times, but I love this as well. Um, I think it's a beautiful palette. I think it just it varies for all skin tones. It's just beautiful. I love these two right here and this one as well. And sometimes I'll use the banana, but my skin's so fair that I really can't. But like I'll use this on other people and stuff like that when I do their makeup because you know if they if they're tanner than me or whatever, um, it just caters to a lot of different skin tones and it's just beautiful quality. It's so pigmented, it's amazing. Um, it was definitely Kat Von D's year for her makeup line. I think she's just amazing. I love her, and I just I can't. I love her so much. Okay, so I think that's it for eyeshadows and stuff. So then the next thing that I have here is a blush, but I actually use it for contouring. This is the NYX HD Blush in Taupe, which I've talked about millions of times. It just looks like that. I'm actually like almost out. I need to go find another one, but I usually have to get it online because I can never find it in the store. So um, I love this so much. It's an amazing contour shade. I have it on today. Um, it's just, it's beautiful. I love it. The next thing that I have is a blush. This is actually a real blush. <laughs> um, this is the e.l.f. blush in mellow mauve and it looks like this it's really really pretty it's kind of got a little bit of shimmer in there but it's a nice mauve shade and i think it looks beautiful on pale skin um i use this all the time it's like my go-to blush and i've just been loving it this year so i have one more blush this is the milani baked blush in illuminoso and everyone talks about this blush on youtube it's like one of those known products on youtube that everyone raves about all the time it looks like this it's like a peachy coral color and it has some shimmer in there it's just beautiful. I think it looks amazing on all skin tones. Um, I use it literally all the time still. Um, I don't like to use a lot of blush because my skin is very red on its own. So I don't like to like enhance that. So, um, But when I do, I love this blush a lot. And I use it a lot in the summer. So the next thing that I have is actually another blush. Um, but I use it as a highlight. And this is the e.l.f. blush in Pinktastic. It's one of their baked blushes. Looks like this. It's absolutely stunning. And it's so beautiful. I love this color like so much it's very dewy and it's great for pale skin um, I just love it so much as a highlight I use it all the time it's like my go-to blush like or not blush um, highlight I use it like constantly um, I think I have it on today mixed with another one um, but yeah I just it's amazing it's only three dollars from the drugstore and it's it's amazing so the next highlighter that I have is the Mary Luminizer by The Bomb looks like this and it's absolutely beautiful it's like a champagne kind of highlight and I just think it looks beautiful on all different skin tones. Um, I love it on my skin. I think it's beautiful. It's very pigmented. Um, I'll show you guys. Um, it's just beautiful. It's like a very champagne highlight. It's so pretty. And I just, it's amazing. And it's so pigmented. Like, people from outer space can probably see, like, your glow um, if you wear this. So, yeah, I love that. So, I totally forgot to mention this one. This is the e.l.f. High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder. Um, I love this stuff so much. It's just translucent, but it brightens under your eyes really well if, when you're setting your under eyes. Like, with concealer and stuff, it just brightens under there. And it's just a beautiful under eye setting powder all in all. And I just love it. Okay, so I'm going to move on to some eye stuff. I have this eyeliner sitting here, which is the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. Looks like this, and it's absolutely amazing. I love this so much. I have it on today. It's pigmented. I love the, the applicator for it. Um, it's very thin and precise, 
and what I love most about it is that it just dries matte and it's just a matte liquid liner and I've never been able to find a good matte liquid liner so I just I think this one's amazing and it's it's just amazing so go buy it okay so the next thing that i have for eyes this has definitely been a favorite this whole year this is the nyx roll-on shimmer and mine is in platinum and it's just a roll-on shimmer and i use this literally like in every single tutorial guys i love this so much like i need to go out and buy another one because i'm almost out it's just beautiful and i have it like in my inner corners i use it for like everything it's just beautiful and it just gives you that pop of sparkle without it being too overboard and it just it blends out beautifully and i just i can't say enough good things about it so the next thing that i have is this gel liner by l'oreal and i actually have the brush and the um gel liner and this is the lacquer liner 24 hours l'oreal infallible and it just looks like this is like the gold one um and this is like very like it's a black liner and i just love it so much for my inner corners and stuff because my inner corners will water sometimes or like i don't know like it'll just fade away if i use liquid there and stuff and this stuff just stays on all day and even if my eyes water it just stays on and i love it so much i use it all the time when i had black hair i actually use this as a base for my eyebrows as well so i just i love this so much it's very creamy and i've had it forever and it doesn't even like dry out or anything okay so the next thing that i have is a mascara that i wanted to talk to you guys about this is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, and I think I've mentioned this in my favorites before, like forever ago or something. It's just a great mascara. Um, since I do wear falsies all the time, I don't really care for mascara. I just need something to prep my eyelashes or whatever. But I do love this for days where I have no makeup on and I just want to put a little bit... I do love this for days when I just want to put a little bit of mascara on, like if I have no makeup on or anything. I love this so much because it makes my eyelashes very, like, stand out. And it's just a beautiful mascara. The formula is great, and I just, I love it. So the next thing that I have is this Proclaim Super Bond Professional Formula Dark Hair Glue. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. This is actually what I use to apply my false lashes. I get this at Sally's, it's like a dollar, and it lasts me forever. Like, I just threw out one that I've had for like probably a year now, and it doesn't hurt your eyes or anything, and it makes your lashes stay on all day. Like, even if like you were to go out in the rain, like, I, it just does not budge at all and I love it so much and it doesn't hurt taking it off and you don't have to wait like an hour for them to like get tacky or anything like that it's just quick and easy and it's just been my go-to for years now and I just figured I would mention it because I always get questions on like what kind of eyelash glue and stuff I use because I do wear big lashes and sometimes when you, you wear big lashes the weight will kind of fuck with the glue and then the glue doesn't like hold them on or they start popping off in the corners and stuff like that this does not do that I use this all the time if you have apply like a generous little layer like across your band of your eyelash you'll be good to go and I just carry it with me like in my purse or something just in case but I never have an issue with my eyelashes popping off I love this stuff to death so then talking about lashes I actually do have a few that I want to mention now I do get the Ardell double ups the 205s I think but I don't have any to show you because I literally ran out of my last pair like last week and I have not been able to find any in the drugstore so I have to like order some online or something but the ones I have on today are the salon perfect 316s or something like that or 116s i forget but they're like really big wispy lashes and i love them um i wish i had the packaging to show you guys but i will link them down below that way you guys can see what i'm talking about but i love those lashes so much i love the ardell double up line they're beautiful and then my also my other go-to which I, if i really want to be like dramatic i'll use my red cherry 199s which i actually have like a ton of so i have like a pack i can actually show you guys i get these on ebay um, and I know shopmissa.com, which everything is a dollar on that website, which I'm actually going to be placing an eyelash order on there soon, which I'm going to be filming and stuff. Um, and they have ones that are similar to this, I think, on there, but I've never bought from them before. But the ones, the Red Cherry 199s are great, and the Ardell 115s are the exact same thing. Um, but the Red Cherry ones, I think, are a little bit cheaper. And I just get these in bulk because I use them for, like, when I'm doing, like, dramatic looks and stuff. And I just love them so much. Like, they're just so dramatic and... And just big and fluffy but my other go-to's are my Ardell 205 double up lashes those are like my all-time favorite and if I had something to show you guys I would okay so I think that's it for lashes and stuff um I think all I have left are lip products except for this oh I have the I have a setting spray that I wanted to talk to you guys about this is the Kat Von D lock and load makeup setting mist looks like this I love this it's my favorite setting spray that I've used so far it's just amazing I 
it just holds my makeup in all day it makes my foundation not like you know get cakey or dry out or it just makes my makeup last and I just love it so much I think it's a great formula and it's only 20 bucks I think that's a great price because the Urban Decay ones are like 36 or something and I'm like no um so I love this so much it's 20 bucks and you get a good amount and it sprays beautifully and it smells good and I just it's one of my favorite setting sprays so I thought I would mention it so the last things that I had to show you guys are lip products this was like the year for liquid lipsticks I feel like so many companies came out with liquid lipsticks um they're just they're just beautiful I love liquid lipsticks because I'm not a big lipstick wearer like I don't really wear like just regular lipstick on its own but when it comes to like the liquid to matte lip lipsticks I just love them so much because I don't feel them and I just think that they're great and they come out with so many beautiful shades and like you barely have to touch up touch them up or anything and I just love them so much and I've tried out quite a few brands a couple of these I've gotten for Christmas but I just love them so much so I thought I would mention them so the first one is definitely my all-time favorite this is the Kat Von D Lolita it looks like this and I just it's a beautiful color I'll swatch it for you guys it's just a beautiful mauve and it's just like that like mauvey brown like I don't even know how to describe it like it's just beautiful and it dries beautiful and it has more of like a moussey formula it's just really pretty it's kind of picking up a little bit more red on camera but it's definitely one of my favorites I love it so much so the next two that I have are actually from the same brand this is the LLA splash lip couture um, waterproof liquid lipsticks and I have one in venom and OG ghoulish they look like this I got these for Christmas and I just easily fell in love with them the first one in venom is actually a black liquid lipstick and I know you guys are probably like what um, but it's beautiful. Um, I was actually looking for a black liquid lipstick that wasn't Lime Crime. And I just, I love this. It dries matte. It's super black. And I just love it so much. I can't wait to do a tutorial with this. Um, so yeah, it's just a black liquid, liquid lipstick. And I just love it, like, to death. Okay, so then OG Ghoulish is beautiful as well. It's like a beautiful dark gray. Like, it's so pretty. I love this so much. Um, so yeah, that's what that one looks like. And I just love the formula of these. They're so matte and so, like, they just last forever. Like, I think I swatched these, like, in a video or something one time. And it took me forever to get them off. Like, it, it was ridiculous. Like, they were on for, like, two days. Like, I could not get them off. Um, but they're definitely easier to get off on your lips. <laughs> um, so then the next three are actually from ColourPop. And I wanted to mention them because there's been a lot of mixed reviews on the ColourPop liquid lipsticks. And I think that they're bomb. Like, I think they're amazing for $6.00. I think you definitely like you just get such good quality out of them for six dollars um, I actually have one of them on today I have teeny tiny on and the quality of these are just beautiful I love the formula I love the applicator I just love everything about them so I'm definitely going to be ordering more because they're just so inexpensive and they're just beautiful I just love them so much um, so the first one I'm gonna swatch for you guys is trap which is also another beautiful color um, I think I wore this in another video. It's just a beautiful, like, light mauve, like, nudie color. So that's what that one looks like. It's just, like, a nice mauve. Um, I love it so much. And then the next one I'm going to show you guys is what's on my lips right now. It's, like, a dark mauve with a little bit of brown in it. It looks a little bit different in the tube than it does, like, when you actually put it on. It's more of, like, a brownie mauve. It looks like that. But it's beautiful. I love it. It's so vampy and like I think it's like gonna be beautiful for fall. I'm so excited. So yeah, that's teeny tiny. And then the last one is definitely my favorite out of all of them. And this is Kapow. And this is just like a dark gray brown, like beautiful. It's just beautiful. I love it so much. So that's those and you can kind of see like I love all like the mauvey gray shades and stuff. Like I definitely love those kind of colors. So yeah, I just love all of them so much. And this was definitely the year for liquid lipsticks. Like I cannot wait to buy more. I'm definitely going to be buying more from ColourPop. Um, I just think that their formula is amazing for the price. And if you haven't tried ColourPop liquid lipsticks, I definitely suggest them to you because I just love them so much. Um, so yeah, so that's pretty much it I think. Alright guys, so I think that wraps up everything for this video I definitely love all these products and I am so happy to share them all with you definitely leave me your beauty favorites from 2015 in the comments because I'm dying to know um, but yeah I think that wraps up this video so until next time I will talk to you guys later bye